Good evening and welcome to the PM edition of Midweek Manna on this Wednesday, August the 9th. I am so glad that you're with me. Just a disclaimer uh, up front, as I end these videos, you may see me looking down to stop the video. And so I'm still not at the point where I could just reach over and stop it. So I just want to put that out there ahead of time. So this morning and uh, the rest of this month, actually, we're going to be talking about the book of James, which is, to me, uh, a very practical um, book about how to live like Christ. And for me, it's also my favorite book in the Bible. Most people have the Gospels, but for me, it's, it's James, because with James, I can read through it and really understand the things I need to do in order to live more like Christ. And so this evening, I want to talk about uh, practice makes perfect. I don't mean perfect in the sense of uh, you don't make any mistakes or anything, but I mean perfect in the sense of you're striving to do, to do and be the best that you can be. And it takes practice. It's like, you know, when I was in the band, I played clarinet in the marching season and I played oboe in the uh, symphony or orchestra time. And in order for me to be as good as I was, I had to practice, practice, practice. Of course, playing the oboe uh, drove my parents crazy because it sounds like a duck if you don't do it the right way. So James talks about how you have to practice uh, what you read. You have to practice and put into put into um, to work the actions based on the things that you read, and that's not easy. It's not easy to read something and to put it into practice. But God is there to give us the strength to do that. And so as you go through this book of James this month especially, I want us to learn different ways and more ways uh, that we can be more like Christ. And what's important is that you continue on the journey. You don't give up. Too many times we get to a point where things are so hard that we just stop moving forward. And we don't need to do that because God is with us in everything. And so James tells us in chapter 1 verses 19 through 27, so you must understand this my beloved, let everyone be quick to listen slow to speak and slow to anger for anger does not produce God's righteousness therefore rid yourselves of all sordidness and rank growth of wickedness and welcome with meekness the implanted word that has the power to save your souls but be doers of the word and not merely hearers who deceive themselves you know when you read the word and you don't do what it says you are to do you're deceiving yourself you're lying to yourself uh, you're pretending to be something that you're not for if I, if any are hearers of the word and not doers, they're like those who look at themselves in the mirror. For they look at themselves and on going away immediately forget what they were like. Meaning that if you don't practice, 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 you will forget how to do things. If I didn't practice all the time the clarinet and the oboe, I would have forgotten how to actually play my instruments. And so... I encourage you to to read along with me and others who watch this uh, as we go through the book of James and I will pick out various things over the, the next couple of Wednesdays to to share and to talk about and as always if there's a topic that you would like me to uh, share my thoughts on or uh, bring to the attention of other people just let me know I'm open and willing to explore whatever topics you want this is your time and I want to make sure that you get out of it what you need Will you pray with me? God, I thank you for these times during the week that we can stop and reflect and listen to a word from you. And Scott, you continue to be with all of us, be with the people that will listen to this, to this message and to this devotion, to these thoughts at this time or whenever they do. Maybe a time that they can hear something to encourage themselves and God is something uh, also would bless them. I thank you and I praise you for all that you continue to do for us and through us. In Christ's name, amen. I hope you enjoyed this day. I invite you to join me again next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern or 8 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Take care. See you then.